Another area that's highly regarded from a technological innovation standpoint and attracts lots of investors is the drug industry, the biotechnology industry. Investing in biotechnology is an interesting approach in terms of the odds of success. Most drugs in most regimes have to go through four stages of clinical testing. These are the four stages and these are the failure rates, okay? Test number one is, is it safe? 97% of, of drug compounds fail that first test. Only 3% make it through the is it safe. 97% of them have some side effects that are deemed to be dangerous. Of the 3% that survive that, are put into stage two, does it work? Does it actually do anything? Once they get to the point where they give you the drug and the placebo, if you're the same, it doesn't do anything. Of that 3%, 95% of them fail that one. Of the 3% that failed, that, that succeeded and got through the 5% there, test number three is, yeah, okay, so it does something, it doesn't kill you. Is it better than an existing compound out there that's already got a patent? Because if it isn't, you're not going to get a patent. 88% don't survive that test. And then finally, the final test is usually, does it have any other benefits or uses? So it may be a, 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 a diabetes drug, but can you label it for uh, obesity, for example? That's, usually, that's the final test, which is the one that most survive. If you analyze that, the likelihood of getting a drug up here, so you're one company, you're one drug biotechnology company you're thinking of investing in, getting through all that is, the calculation is 1 minus 0.97 multiplied by 1 minus 0.95 multiplied by 1 minus 0.88 multiplied by 1 minus 0.46 or 0.0001 or in plain English you have a 1 in 10,000 chance of being right. It's an amazing bet. Don't take my word for it. That's the Pharmaceutical Research Manufacturing Association of America. That's their, that's their chart. I haven't changed it at all. A long and risky road. They're saying out of five to 10,000 compounds out here, right, you get one. FDA approved drug. It's a really bad industry from an investment standpoint. Mm -hmm. Yet people keep investing in it. There we go. We like industries where we're not likely to be blindsided by new technological development, where we can uh, go to bed and expect to wake up tomorrow with the same kind of thing going on. So we, uh, we take photographs of things when we turn around. We took this, uh, this is an elevator system in uh, San Francisco, which was installed in 1910. It's an Otis elevator. It's still going, still working. Uh, Mr. Otis is the man who actually invented the safety elevator. He patented it in about 1858, something like that. And if he came back to Earth uh, now uh, and he saw that elevator, he would say, yeah, it's a safety elevator. If I took him out in the lobby here and showed him these, he'd go, yeah, it's a safety elevator. There has been no significant technological innovation in the intervening period. And I'm reasonably confident that I won't wake up one morning and find my holding in elevator companies has been wiped out by a new way of going up and down in high buildings. I don't think it's very likely. Until the Star Trek teleporting system becomes a reality, I think we're okay.